1961, Heinz give away 57 mini miners in a soup competition. This promotional campaign was the first launched in the UK, famous for Heinz prizes like 57 caravans, 57 holidays, and much more. In 1967, the most famous slogan, Beans means Heinz, is born. Mom, Johnny's going off around the world. Before tea, a million housewives every day pick up a tin of beans and say, Beans means Heinz. When will Johnny be back from going around the world? Mm, not till well after tea, I suppose. We might as well eat his beans then. <laughs> I think I'll go around the world tomorrow instead. A million housewives every day pick up a tin of beans and say, Beans means Heinz. In 2009, the it Has to Be Heinz marketing campaign was launched in October across TV, radio, in-store, digital, and PR. In 2012, consumers put their trust in Heinz as the most highly rated food brand according to a poll published by YouGov. I've conducted a SWOT analysis of Heinz to highlight factors to be emphasized throughout this exploration. In terms of strengths, Heinz values and corporate social responsibility make the brand environmentally friendly and trustworthy. As you can see, Heinz's focus is not only on producing supreme quality products, but doing so in a way that protects the environment. In terms of weaknesses, the variety of Heinz product range, also includes mayo, mustard, and salad cream, is both a strength and a weakness, as products like these are overshadowed by competitor brands like Hellman's, famous for mayo and salad cream, and Coleman's, famous for mustard. In terms of Heinz opportunity, there is always product placement, merchandising, the organic market, social media marketing, consumer focus innovations, and growing demand for health products. I will be talking about the integrated marketing communications and we'll be comparing and evaluating Heinz against their closest competitors. So this graph shows the results of a survey conducted from January 2013 to March 2014 among approximately 24,000 American adults on the most used brands of ketchup. So according to this survey, about 59% of American households use Heinz ketchup most often. So in comparison, according to the Guardian newspaper, Heinz is the nation's favourite source and one of the best known brands in the world. But Heinz tomato ketchup has come near the bottom of a national consumer taste test, beaten by cheaper supermarket own brands. So in a blind tasting of 13 ketchups carried out by the consumer group, which Heinz failed to make it into the top 10, finishing joint second from the bottom along with Aldi. Overall, the top scoring best buy was Sainsbury's own brand tomato ketchup, which was singled out for its rich tomato taste with a nice thickness to the sauce. M&S and Tesco own brand ketchups came joint second. However, Heinz said in a statement, Heinz tomato ketchup is the nation's favourite with around 80% share of the market. Consumers are not fooled by imitators and they know that no other ketchup will do. So on to Heinz mayonnaise and salad cream. This graph shows a ranking of the most used Heinz salad creams and mayonnaise brands in the UK in 2013. An estimated 8.39 million people used Heinz salad cream in the UK, ranked second and third were Heinz mayonnaise and Heinz light salad cream. So in comparison to Hellman's mayonnaise and salad cream, it is America's number one mayonnaise brand. In 2013, an estimated 6.72 million people used Hellman's real in the UK, ranked second and third were Hellman's light and Hellman's lighter than light. Heinz is best known for their tomato ketchup and soups and they have now launched new sauces which are perfect if you would like to add new flavours to your meals. Heinz introduced four new chilli sauces, jerk barbecue, sweet chilli, peri peri and hot pepper to supermarket shelves. Heinz peri peri sauce links into Nando's peri peri sauces as Nando's were the first company to bring out their famous sauces. In the UK, HP's fan base on Facebook is a mere 195,615 people, whereas Heinz have a whopping 1,162,523 following their page. 
and according to Yahoo's finance page, Brassens Beans was in the same price range with Heinz at 69p. And the taste of both of these beans are extremely similar and the nutrient information are the same. Even though Heinz beans and Branston beans are a little expensive, customers get what they pay for. And that is good quality beans because both of these brands have a rich, thick tomato sauce. On to Heinz soup. This graph shows the ranking of the most used Heinz brand of soup in the UK in 2013. An estimated 12.33 million people used Heinz Classic in the UK. They were ranked second and third were Heinz Big Soup and Heinz Farmers Market. In comparison, there are Bachelor's Cup of Soup. And this graph shows that in 2013, an estimated 5.2 million people used Bachelor's Cup of Soup in the UK. Now, as you can see, there is a huge 7.13 million people who use Heinz soup more than Bachelors, as Heinz was one of the first companies to produce soup. Supermarkets have their own brands on each and every one of all these brands, as they are the cheaper alternative for consumers. They have their own take on all their sauces, beans and soups, and corner shops like Tesco Express, Cost Cutter, Off Licenses, etc. only have the major brands like Heinz. To emphasise that Heinz is a valuable brand, a survey conducted in 2012 by Yuga found that Heinz consumers put their trust in the company as the most highly rated food brand. As you saw by some of these clips, consumers do not hesitate to pick up Heinz ketchup, illustrating the popular slogan, it has to be Heinz. Hi, my name is Ray and I'm doing the I Spy Heinz Challenge in Wrestle Stratford City. The Hierarchy FX model was created in 1961 by Robert Lavage and Gary Steiner. The model begins with awareness, then continues on to knowledge, liking, preference, conviction and finally purchase. According to Investopedia, it is a hierarchical representation of how advertising influences a consumer's decision to purchase or not purchase a product or service over time. Therefore, the job of the advertiser is to encourage the consumer to go through the six steps and purchase a product. This model is known as a hierarchy because the number of consumers moving from one stage to the next reduces as you move through the model. There may be a lot of consumers that see the product advert, but not everyone will make a purchase. First stage is awareness. This is where the customer becomes aware of the product for advertising. However, customers may not always remember the product brand as they are subjected to many adverts in a day and will only remember the brand of a fraction of products. As the days and the nights are falling I'm the voice that is always calling You know who I am You know my name and my number But I know you and you know you know Second stage is knowledge. This is where the customer begins to gain knowledge of the product. This could be through the nutritional values on product packaging, information provided on the internet, or simply asking for information from retail advice. The next stage is liking. As the title states, this step is about ensuring the consumer likes your product. 
the advertiser will need to think about what features they can promote to encourage the customer to like your product. This is amazing, yeah. Great long battery life. Eight weeks. You're joking. It's just like reading a book. Should we go on? Let's get a couple. The new Kindle Paperwhite. You've got to read it to believe it. The next stage is preference. Consumers may like more than one product brand and could end up buying any one of them. At this stage, advertisers will want to disconnect the consumer from rival products and focus on their particular products. Advertisers will want to highlight the brand's benefits and unique selling points as in what differentiates this product from their competitors. The conviction stage is about creating the customer's desire to purchase a product. Advertisers may encourage conviction by allowing customers to test or sample the product. Examples of this are inviting customers to take a car for a test drive or offering a free sample of food. This reassures the consumer that the purchase will be a safe one. 20 grams, that's all there. 169. Big block. Mm -hmm. That's cheap, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 69p then, please. Really? Really, 69p. But you haven't told me why it's so cheap. Thank you for shopping with Lidl today. <laughs> is it? Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. This is Lidl. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Having proceeded through the above stages, the advertiser wants a consumer to purchase their product. This stage needs to be simple and easy. Otherwise, the customer will get fed up and walk away without a purchase. For example, a variety of payment options encourages purchases, whilst a complicated and slow website discourages purchases. Lavage and Steiner suggest that the six steps can be split into three stages of consumer behaviour. These are cognitive, affective and cognitive. Cognitive or thinking, so that the consumer becomes aware of the product and gathers product knowledge. Effective or feeling so that the consumer likes the product brand and has conviction in it. Cognitive or do so that the consumer buys a product brand. Heinz are focusing on the family's influence on children's consumptions of these foods as lifelong eating patterns are established early in life. It is in childhood that the family provides the first and perhaps the most fundamental context in which children's relationship with food is formed. With respect to alternative evaluation, Heinz provides information about their products, promotions, meal planner and recipes to their customers, with a detailed information about the nutritional facts of the food products that the kids ingest. It enables the entire family to eat healthier. Marketing communications play an essential role in creating positive brand equity and building a strong brand loyalty. The unique and positive images of the brand have established trust in their market segment. Consumers don't just purchase tomato ketchup merely for its taste. They instead purchase a lifestyle and an image when selecting Heinz over other available brands because of the significant attributes that Heinz has lodged in consumers' memories. This would relate to the knowledge and preference stages of the hierarchy of model due to the nutritional information that Heinz provides to customers on product packaging and their websites. By placing this advertisement on billboards, Heinz achieved a large reach with low cost per head. As Heinz is already a well-known brand, the advertisement increased the frequency of interaction However, this advertisement was not aimed at a specific target audience, besides the common characteristics of those driving past the billboard. This will target customers at the liking and preference stages on the hierarchy of effects model, due to its emphasis on differentiated product attributes and are correlated with helping a customer through the evaluation of alternatives in the purchase decision-making process. By stressing the high quality ingredients in Heinz Ketchup, they have allowed the mother to achieve the end nutrition as they align the Heinz Ketchup and the Heinz brand with the more healthy and nutritious condiment than previously perceived. However, this also targets customers at the preference and conviction stages of the model as it correlates with the evaluation of alternatives and purchase decisions. 
The consumer process is cognitive, cognitive effective, suggesting that the trial will generate more subsequent purchases and increase brand loyalty. However, in the case of Heinz Ketchup, there are very few people who have not tried ketchup at the time of purchase. Therefore, Heinz started this campaign with a cognitive tactic. The next step would obviously be to have an effective tactic in order to reinforce the original objective of the ad. The first stage of the product life cycle is the introduction stage. This is followed by a stage when the product grows in sales. After this stage, the product reaches a point where its sales are at a maximum, and this is known as a mature phase. As this goes on, consumer patterns change and product sales begin to decline. At this point, the manufacturer has to decide whether or not they will let the product die or invest in further promotion. Heinz was faced with exactly this dilemma in respect to their salad cream. Heinz Salad Cream, one of the company's best known brands, was showing signs of losing its previously high market share. The salad cream sector as a whole was in a decline. Competition from new or substitute products, particularly mayonnaise, had overtaken Heinz Salad Cream's position as the number one choice for salads. Until the 1940s, it was the only salad cream on the market. However, by 1998, salad cream sales stood at £40 million, compared to £72 million for mayonnaise. Heinz developed a campaign to introduce the product to a new market and increase demand within the salad cream sector as a whole. The overall objectives were to target the 20 to 30 age group in particular and younger customers generally, create a sense of individuality about the Heinz salad cream brand that is quirky and fun, widen consumption patterns of the product beyond merely being a dressing for salads. The campaign, which was created by Abbott Mead Vickers BBDO, runs across print, radio, outdoor, digital and experiential channels. The print ads are inspired by pop art and incorporate food puns such as Amazing Krusty Roll, as well as the strapline, Bring on the Zing. Each medium shared the same unifying theme, any food tastes supreme with Heinz salad cream. Humorous advertisements were designed to illustrate how the young and young at heart could turn dull food into a tasty treat. A nationwide salad cream sampling team went into action to remind people of the product's taste. Free samples of everyday foods topped with salad cream helped reinforce the versatility of salad cream. Venues were chosen which were frequented by the 20-something audience. As our exploration has illustrated, Heinz is a huge contributor the sauce market, as Heinz was the first brand to market ketchup and soup. In terms of our future growth, we chose to expand the Heinz sauce range into Chinese due to the popularity of traditional Asian foods in Britain. The Chinese will be sold as limited edition for six months. The aim of this shift in product focus is to promote Heinz to a more culturally diverse market. We believe we will achieve these objectives as Heinz is the most established brand in the ketchup market, and there are no competitors like it, other than supermarket-owned brands. Therefore, there is no competition. However, there is competition in the chutney market. For instance, Patax, famous for mango pickle, mixed pickle, chili pickle, and hot lime pickle. Sharwoods, famous for lime pickle, green label, label mango chutney, and cashmere chili. And Raja, famous for sweet mango chutney, Bengal hot mango chutney, and cashmere mango chutney. So what it is, the new Heinz chutney flavours shall be mango and chilli chutney, mint chutney and sweet pickle chutney. Like all Heinz sauces, the chutneys will be packaged in a plastic squeezy bottle to tie into the world's flavours range. The fact that a Heinz chutney will be in a squeezy bottle is a USP as our competitors sell their chutneys in jars. The new Asian sauces range ties in nicely with the Heinz chilli sauces like peri peri, jerk barbecue, sweet chilli and hot pepper as mentioned before. 
Feature growth of the sources and soups are range will de deepen the brand loyalty of consumers for Heinz as no other brand has such variety. For example, soups, sauces, condiments, baby foods, pasta and baked beans. So who and why? For the 2015 Integrated Marketing Communications campaign, we propose that Heinz Future Growth will be the new Heinz Chinese, specifically targeted to Britain and the South Asian people population in the UK. A recent survey found that Indian is second on Britain's fast food list. As a quarter, which is 26%, say takeaway curry is best. Approximately 8% of the UK population is South Asia, Asian according to the census conducted in 2011. So where it will be? To promote Heinz new range, we recommend a advertising campaign across TV, radio, in-store and social media. For example, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter as they are our main sites. So how? The effectiveness of the campaign will be measured by the sales volume, social media engagement and supermarket tasters. The Chinese will be limited edition for six months as our objective. If the sales and campaigns are successful, we will continue the chutney range permanently and there will also be supermarket tasters as our survey to help us uh, measure the campaign. This was our exploration of Heinz. Thank, Thank you, you for listening. listening.